Welcome to today's episode of Error 379. Today we're going to talk about E3! Yay! Yay! Which just <laughs> happened over the past few days. I think it just ended a couple days ago. Um, so we're going to be discussing games. How long is it? Uh, it's like four days. Holy shit. They've got, they've got to fit in a lot of uh, presenters doing their... Yeah. Their spiel, which can be up to like an hour or two hours or something, because they're doing all sorts of, they're talking about new games and stuff, so. I just didn't realize it was that long. Yes, it's very long. It started on like Sunday. Yeah, it's I like know, a full blown a... convention kind of thing. I know, because I, came, awesome, I, I woke up the next morning after getting home at 4.30 in the morning to like this explosion of E3 on my dashboard. It was just like everywhere. <laughs> so people were watching that while I was at work. So, we're actually going to be reviewing a drink. It's going to be very exciting because... Would you like to tell us your opinion on beer? I think it's disgusting. Well, believe it or not, we found a beer that you'll drink. I think you're a liar. Hmm. Well, let's try this. Should we blindfold her? No, I'm just going to pour it into her glass. She's not going to look at the bottle. I don't want to drink it. You're going to want to drink it. It's a beer. Don't drink it yet. All right. We're going to pour some in everybody's glass. She's, she's very scared <laughs> now. We are going to review a beer. It's going to be great. All right. Beer is gross. So, I stopped over stuff. Jeez. So, let's do this. Spiked root beer? <laughs> Actually, no. It is literally. What even? It's beer. Nah. -uh. Ale with the taste of spices. It is beer. That's weird. The spices they use make it taste like root beer. It's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. Huh. But it actually is beer. That's weird. But delicious. Is it really a? Is it really a beer though? Yes. It uh, is it is a beer. It, it tastes like root beer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus but like I'm so confused. It <laughs> is root beer. Not root beer. It is beer that tastes like root beer. Yeah, it tastes like root beer with like a shot of vodka or something. Or maybe not vodka, but it's got it I'm I don't know how to feel about this. I don't, I don't know how to describe what this flavor is outside of root beer with, like, spiked something. This is good, actually. Told you! I just don't feel like... It doesn't taste like beer, though. It tastes like root beer, so I don't feel like it's, like, a real beer. It's beer. You'll get a buzz later. It is beer. What's the alcohol content? 5.9. It's the same alcohol content as a standard beer. This is still weirding me out. Um, just imagine ice cream in it. Yeah. Just That'd imagine. be fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Root beer float. It is legitimately a beer. It's just... that it just Because you know how uh, birthday cake shots have no chocolate or anything in it, yet mm -hmm. when you take the cake shot, it tastes like uh, chocolate cake. It's just the same kind of thing. It's just the spices they use Science. in it. Science! It's the spices they use in it that make it taste like root beer as opposed to beer. This is tripping me out. <laughs> yeah, the only trouble is that um, it doesn't clearly state on the bottle in unless you look finely. Yeah, it. it says not your father's root beer, but then it says under in smaller print ale with the taste of spices. So that would be bad to have in a house <laughs> where children would probably go to grab it out of the fridge. Yeah, thinking it's... It's legit root beer, and it's legit beer. <laughs> so what do you think? It's pretty good. Did we find a beer it's you'll really, drink? It's really weird, but it's good. <laughs> but we found a beer you'll drink. Obviously, I've practically been chugging this. <laughs> so, awesome. That's cool. Right, so yeah. where'd you even where'd you get it? Uh, QFC. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
You can also get it at BevMo, according to the website. You can get it at Fred Meyer. Um, those are just local to us, so I don't know where you might be able to get it in... I don't know where you... Shh. The dogs! The dog. It's fine, just Doge. ignore it. So, um, I don't know where you can get it out of state, but in Washington you can get it at BevMo, you can get it at QFC, and you can get it as Fred Meyer, as far as I know. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, we can always put the, the name of, of it in the... Well, I yeah. know what I'm taking the next family party. It's Small Town <laughs> Brewery, not your father's root beer. That's the name of it. Cool. Yep. So yeah, pretty good. You know, for people who don't like beer, like me. Or people who like root beer. Yeah, like me. <laughs> it's good. Hey, it all works out for you. Yay. So, shall we move on to trending topics then? Yeah. All right. What we got today? Uh, today we have uh, Alan Rickman and Jimmy Fallon inhale helium during an interview. <laughs> I watched that clip, actually. That was funny. <laughs> I haven't seen the clip, but it sounds like it's pretty funny. To, yeah. I hear, I hear he does a Snape impression. Oh, God. Well. Or is that exaggerated? Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon does an Alan Rickman impression. Oh, okay. That's. That is. So, it's actually pretty good. Like. All while on helium. Which is no, funny. No, he doesn't, he doesn't do the Alan Rickman impression on helium. Um, he does it introducing. Uh. But he's, it's not bad. But, and then they both do the helium thing, essentially. God, that should be funny. It was pretty funny, actually. Alan's got such a deep voice already. And it's, you know what's funny is that even on helium, it's still kind of deep. Like, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like a deep helium. A deep helium? How does that make any sense? It's Alan Rickman. Like, Alan, that's, that's the Alan only, Rickman doesn't need to make sense? Right? That's the only explanation you need. It's Alan Rickman. It's Alan Rickman. All right. You should, um, watch, the, you should watch the clip. Maybe we will. Just because. Maybe we will afterwards. Right. Um, our second trending topic for the day, which is very exciting for <laughs> us nerdy fans, which is actresses Kate McKinnon, Melissa McCarthy, and Kristen Wiig appear in their first Ghostbusters photo. That sounds so awesome. So we're going to take a Who's look the fourth one? here. Uh, I don't know. Sweet hair. I love it. It looks interesting. So, it looks like we've got Melissa McCarthy and Kate McGinnon here. Move it over. Huh. She looks exactly like the... Like yeah. The, that's that's funny. That's. I'm really excited for this now. Like, I like this whole, like, gender swap uh, thing going on. And here's uh, Kristen Wiig. Oh my god. It's adorable. So, I'm not entirely sure who they're going to be playing. Do, do we know? Yeah, sort of, I don't know. I mean, you, I feel like we could probably guess, but... Well, yeah, I feel do, like Melissa we, would be... Um, I know, but I'm saying, do we know if they're going to be gender-swapped versions of the characters, or are they going to be their own version? I don't know. Is that I actually an, don't know anything about... Like, last I heard, it was still just a rumor. I didn't know that they were actually going is through Is there a, an IMDb page with any information uh let's check it out i'm sure there is at this point i have something with like i just think it's really cool that they're doing it this way i i am so excited uh no nope. character names no <laughs> damn not even close so when when did ghostbusters come out uh the original yeah this, it looks like this one is going to come out next year. That's yeah, pretty yeah, awesome. July 22nd, 2006. Nice. 2006. 2016. <laughs> July 22nd. We're going back in time! <laughs> Just saying! Uh, the original Ghostbusters came out in 1984. Oh. Four years before so, we were born. You know... Before they were. Which makes <laughs> me... Which, you know, would be because since there's like no information on, you know, would be interesting is if like they ended up being like their daughters or something that took over the company after they retired. Okay. I think I think that'd be a cool twist. That would be interesting. Right oh, now, sorry. right now, our trending topics are over because we have a long list of E3 to cover, don't we? Oh yes, which is very exciting because so many good things came out of E3 this year. It's kind of. 
mind-boggling because most E3s you get good stuff. This one, it was just one good thing after another. <laughs> Everything was really pretty. I've only watched a couple trailers, but... Um, I mean, we have got some huge sequels that people are really freaking out over, including the female-led protagonist, Lee, or female-led protagonist of Dishonored 2. Which looks really interesting. Like, I remember seeing trailers for the first Dishonored and thinking it looked really cool, and this one looks really awesome also. I always thought Emily was super adorable, and then, and then now she's... And now she's the, yeah, she's now the, she's she's the lead. <laughs> Um, another huge sequel that's coming out is Fallout 4, which is like eight years or eight, nine years in, in the making, or not in the making, but in it, people waiting at least that yeah. long. Um, Halo 5 is another big sequel. It's not as raved about as the other sequels, but it's, it's another one that's a big, um... I've only seen very little about it, but it still looks pretty interesting. Oh yeah, well they they really they really made it interesting because they've got like Spartans against Spartans. There's a there's this new one Locke that's <laughs> sorry. We've got this new Spartan Locke that's supposed to be going after Master Chief. Yeah. So yeah, I know about that because I've seen like GIF sets and stuff and it looks interesting. Um, we have got one of oh my god, was that necessary? Yeah, because she wants more. So we've got another huge sequel coming out that is probably the one thing that I'm most excited for, which is Mass Effect 4, which is not going to take place in Commander Shepard's time period. In fact, it's taking place in the Andromeda Galaxy, hence the name Mass Effect Andromeda. I was wondering about that. Yes, so it's going to be a new protagonist with new team members, but the Mako is back! Yay! The and Mako! It, and it looks, it looks, uh, it looks, it looks like you can launch yourself off mountains now! Yeah, it seems like they, like they enhanced awesome. it or something, because <laughs> there's like jet boosters or something on the back of that thing, so now not only will you be able to drive up mountains perpendicular, but now you'll be able to launch yourself off of them into space. <laughs> Because who doesn't want to do that? So <laughs> Boring people. <laughs> the Mako is amazing, and I'm glad it's back. <laughs> I am really disappointed that uh, we're moving away from Commander Shepard, but I'm really excited about the new characters and the new romances and the new worlds. It's going to be really exciting. And from the looks of the trailer, there might even be a female Krogan companion. That sounds cool. Yes. That gave me shivers. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> um, That's a lot of internet speculation, though, because yeah. people have been comparing the trailer, which can be, you know, blurry screen caps of fast-moving trailers can be yeah. hard mm -hmm. to tell. Yeah. But it looks so, like... does that mean that it's taking... Like, when is it taking place, like, timeline-wise? It's taking place a long time after Shepard. Okay. They haven't specified how long, just that it's a long time. Okay. It is many years in the future. So most of our characters are going to be dead. Sorry, but your favorite's going to die. Or is dead. Okay, yours was already dead. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. But then there's his son. <laughs> which will probably be dead. He'll be then. dead too. <laughs> ah! But then his son. Everybody's dead, Dave. Ah. Everybody's dead, Dave. Um, we've got a couple of great expansions. One coming out for Destiny. One coming out for uh, The Old Republic. That looks amazing. Um, it looks very interesting, and it really is making me wonder if I should start up The Old Republic. I've played Nice well, The Old Republic and Nice The Old Republic 2. Never played the MMO. Isn't it free now? It is free. As far as I know, the MMO is free to play. Yeah, because I think you and I were, were thinking of starting it up. Yeah. And now, now they can. have Now, now they, they can, because Vision. <laughs> now they can, because Vision, yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, the the trailer for that is flippin' amazing looking. Uh, the cinematic looks, looks gorgeous. Yeah, it looks. I mean, storyline looks like it'll be really interesting too. Mm -hmm. So that looks pretty awesome. Um, we've got a, another huge, huge sequel coming out that people just lost it uh, for Kingdom Hearts three. Oh my god! A <laughs> whole just. This. Which, uh, unlike unlike previous games, it will be released on all systems. That's pretty awesome. Yay, yes. now I don't have to go out and get a PS4. It really, I, well, I mean all next-gen systems. 
It's going to be Xbox One and PlayStation Four. Well, yes, but I have an Xbox. One. I'm just saying. Fair. I don't want to make it seem. Fair. I don't want to make it seem like it's coming out on 360 or PS3 because it's not. This is going to mm-hmm. be Xbox One. It's going to be PlayStation Three. Four. Four. <laughs> it's going to be Xbox One and it's going to be PlayStation Four. What about the Wii U? I. Is it coming out on the Wii U? I don't know. It's just they they have some really bizarre things for the Wii U. Like they have Assassin's Creed for the Wii U. Not not like the newest they one. They have but... Mass Effect Three for the Wii U. That's or no, true. for the Wii. Sorry. Ah. Which I never quite understood. Yeah, Mass Effect Three for the Wii. All right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom looks Hearts. Really exciting. Uh, like Zaynard. the gameplay. The gameplay looks really cool, because they're doing that weird, like, summoning thing with, like, stuff. Disneyland rides. Yeah. That they've never done before. Uh, that Tangled really is going to awesome. be a new world. Ooh! Oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah. Tangled has been confirmed as being a new world. Uh, Sora's Keyblade can now turn into guns. That sounds awesome! I feel like he picked that up from Zigbar. <laughs> Took Zigbar's gun thing and, like, melded it. Somehow. Um, Got Sid involved. That sounds cool. More exciting news from the Squeenix front is the remake of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it looks so pretty. <laughs> you can't see. We got you will. We got. You, you will need a PS4. As far as we know, it's only being released on PS4, so you will need a PS4 to play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, luckily for Kingdom Hearts 3, that one's coming out. Oh, I already said it's already coming out. Yeah. But, all the um, systems. I read somewhere that for it the... It might be coming out on other systems. Thanks for, you know. Sorry. Yeah. I got really into the moment. I'm just like, yeah. wow, all these video games. I'm so yes. excited. Yeah, so I'm not gonna run out and buy a PS4 just yet. I'm gonna wait to see, um, what else they release Final Fantasy VII on. Hopefully it's not just PC, like some people are speculating, and hopefully it'll be on Xbox One. Um, well, with the news that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be on Xbox One, there is a chance yeah. that Final Fantasy 7 might That's might, what I'm holding out it. for. Uh, speaking of the Xbox One... Uh, the Xbox One is going to be backwards compatible with 360 games now. Oh, that's cool. And you don't have to buy a brand new system to, uh, no. either. It's going to be a patch, it's going to come in, and you're only going to be able to play a handful of 360 games, but... They will be releasing more as they start uh, converting it. That's yeah, pretty awesome. I imagine they do like the the big hitters. Like um, uh, Mass Effect is one of the ones that they're bringing out right away. It's one of uh, those. What about that, Dragon Age? Uh, as far as I know, Dragon Age is not backwards compatible yet. The other exciting news for the Xbox One is they're coming out with a Pro controller, which is apparently for gamers who are really serious about gaming and want to customize their own button configurations. That's interesting. Yeah, so if you're not necessarily comfortable with where the A button is, like maybe you instinctively go for, um, what are you, miming the controller? It might be. <laughs> but, so if you're not comfortable with the A's, you can move it, uh, you can swap it with others, from what I've heard. Huh. It's supposed I mean, to be customizable buttons, you're supposed to be, to be able to configure it in any number of ways that will th- make them That more sounds pretty cool, because you know how you go from game to game, and, uh, each one Each has system has, like, a different, different configuration of buttons, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I was playing a whole bunch of Kingdom Hearts stuff, and then I would jump back to... Xbox and I was like controls. What are these? Or just one console itself going from different Halo games and the controls are different. I was like, "What's we- reload? Is this reload? Grenade? <laughs> <laughs> Crap! <laughs> <laughs> like, I need more bullets. Grenade? Not what I meant, but it works. <laughs> Instead of shooting that brute in the head, I just blew him up. Legit. So, uh, we also have uh, news that they're developing Minecraft for the HoloLens, which, if you don't know, the HoloLens is supposed to be a virtual reality device that you wear. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, from what I've seen of the previews, it looks like it's supposed to uh, outlay the map, the Minecraft map on, like, a table, and you're supposed to be able to, like, move it. That sounds cool. Yeah, so it's not it's not going to be an immersive thing. It's more like you're the overlord. <laughs> That's a, from what I've seen. That sounds like some Stark technology shit. Uh, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> People will look onto me as though I were a god. <laughs> Back to video games. Uh, we missed a big one. What? Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Right. We've got Mirror's Edge Catalyst. We've got Assassin's Creed Syndicate. 
Which looks uh, awesome. Assassin's Creed Syndicate features twin protagonists who is, for the first time I've seen in gameplay, you can actually switch between the characters. That's cool. Uh, however, the main storyline is still going to focus on Jacob, sadly, even though Evie is totally a boss. Yeah, well, she is a boss. Um, but it takes place in London, uh, like Victorian London. It's got elements of steampunk. Oh, that's cool. Um, uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Can I, can I just say something about the, the Assassin's Creed trailer that I watched? What What is with the high-speed carriage chase? Like... It's, I couldn't. I couldn't decide whether I should have been taking that seriously or not. To be honest, like, I've, I've never taken the high speed like carriage cases seriously. Because like, um, this isn't even the first game that's done. It's it. the first time I've seen it, and I was just like, "What?" Because there's been like there's been like car chases. Because then there was like that slow. Because then there was like that slow motion like off the bridge action. And I'm just like, "What is happening?" <laughs> like this both looks amazing and ridiculous. <laughs> it has not been the first high speed carriage chase. Let me tell you. I just. I just, this, I think that was one of the things I found most amusing about the trailer. Like, the whole thing is amazing looking, and I can't wait. But, like, just the high-speed carriage chase through the streets. I'm like, what? So, anyway, um, yeah, exciting E3 news. Have we covered everything, or am I... Are you gonna look at your notes? Oh, my God! Yeah! Stomach muscles. <laughs> well, you did do those crunches last night. I did! This green tab is every three seconds. There we go. Um, got it, got it. But we didn't really. Oh, we've got some really exciting, and that's unravel. Ah, it looks unravel. adorable. Unravel was the hit of E3 mainly because the presenter of Unravel, one of the game developers, came out with his own little little Yarny, Yarny, which is the main character. Uh, he handcrafted it. He was so shaking and so nervous and so excited to share his game. And the game looks adorable. Plays a little yarn guy going through different uh, kind of sceneries. You know, wintry woods and autumn leaves and... It's a fun puzzle game. Rivers and... But, yeah, Tumblr kind of took him and flew off on a um, precious cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah, he's now apparently the precious cinnamon roll. Um, we've got, uh, we've got ReCore and Tomb Raider, which are another, a uh, couple more, um, female-led games. There was a lot more female-led games this E3. Yeah. A lot of sequels and a lot of female leads, so. Yeah. ReCore. Have you seen the trailer for ReCore? I have never even heard of it. ReCore, well, it's an original game. Yeah. Uh, okay. ReCore. can't get over each, like, just- Saying that name over and over. Record, record. It's like record, saying it more record, often. It's not going to make record. me realize what it is. <laughs> so it tells record, me nothing. Record looks like a female engineer with like a little robot dog, and it looks like she's in a dystopian world, like desert world. She's like the last living human, um, and all these robots. They've all got these glass like orbs that power them. Um, like their core, hence mm-hmm. recore, and it looks like you can actually take the cores and move them between bodies. Because hmm. in the trailer, it was shown that the dog was killed; her dog companion was killed, so she took his core and replaced it into oh. a different body. So that's neat. I don't know much about it, other than it looks really interesting. It sounds interesting. Um, I oh. God, there's so many games, though, that it's like, I don't even think we can cover everything that ha- that's going to happen. Other games that I don't necessarily think were introduced in E3, but our big games that are coming up are going to be uh, Uncharted 4. There's going to be Rock Band 4 coming in October. Oh, cool. There's going to be a new Animal Crossing game for the 3DS uh, that's actually not like your standard Animal Crossing. It's going to be like decorating other people's houses. Like, you work as a home designer. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, and... All the things you can do. <laughs> and apparently there's some mysterious Zelda game that Nintendo won't talk about that they're coming out with for Wii U. So, a lot of exciting game news. Uh, bank accounts are going to be depleted like planets from Mass Effect. <laughs> Nerd joke. <laughs> yeah. They really are. 
So that uh, that about wraps it up for this episode of 379. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know what you're excited for. And uh, subscribe, follow us on social media. Thanks. Really? I don't know. <laughs>